Hi guys, Venus Big Stay here, VST, and I have some news today on the Unix Google Camera, guys. So it's been a long time since I didn't share any updates, but today we have the build 1.6. So Unix announced in the morning that a new version of the Google Camera 7.2 is here. So let's see what are all the new features and let's try to install it and test it. If you like my videos, you can subscribe for my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and you can also click on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thank you. So again, as I said today, we have now the build 1.6. So let's just see the change log because I think there are some quite, quite, quite um, important news here. So all the modes working except slow motion, custom settings like sharpness, denoise, this is great. Aux lens working, you know, that uh, for or in order for you to be able to do this, you need to be to have root on the OnePlus phones. Plug and play, no XML, which I pretty much do because I'm tired of using XML, guys. 30x digital zoom, and here for me, this is really the big news here, guys. You see astrophotography. If you go and if you set the maximum exposure time to 100, then astrophotography will work. And I'm very eager to, to test this already, right? So let's just go here, hit the install. Okay, original APK. I'm gonna download it one, guys, and install it. Okay, we see the change log here again. By the way, this is, I think, the change log from the Unix itself. So fixed overlay of buttons with options located in more modes, fixed overlay of buttons with tri night side options. Okay, it fixed the AW on the OnePlus 7 Pro 5G. Oh my God, is nobody using actually the 7 Pro 5G? Fixed the crush on the Mi Note 10. Mi Note 10, yeah, that's an interesting phone. 108 megapixels, you know, Redmi really Note 8 Pro and other devices with not working saber at it okay i think the biggest news guys here is also along with the night sorry along with the astro mode is this that it finally now thanks to arnova one of the best out there finally now unix was able to add support for snapdragon 845 which means that you can use this now on your me 8 phone and uh, i think on all the phones that practically run on the snapdragon 845 SOC guys. Okay, cool. So let's hope that uh, it's been already downloaded now. Very important before installing it, you have to always uninstall the previous one. So let's I just go to app info guys. I press always for stop. I go then to storage and cache. I will always like do clear storage and I will then just press uninstall. So I have a clean version. Okay, now I can go back and I will install it, install the application. I will put the link to the APK Google Camera Unix 1.6 into the video description below. So check it and download it from there. So installing it is there. Okay, what I always wanna do also is when I have a new application, new Google Camera, I put it there. Okay, now it's here and camera boom. Okay, let's try to see what we have here. Allow, allow, allow. I will directly go to more and I will then directly go to settings. Okay info and here we have google camera 1.6 so it's a version 1.6 from urnix and you know the change log so let's try to see where this mask exposure time is guys so here we have we start with a save location the camera sounds i always disable that one google lens suggestions not a bad one premium hints you can keep this as well social share i don't like that one so i always remove that one Gestures, if you want to use some nice gestures, okay, grid type. I usually set the three by three. Frequent faces, I'm not using this feature also. And now let's go to the advanced. So, shoulder to lens holding, always on. HDR control, yeah, oh. Raw JPEG, let's not use it because I think there is still some problems with shooting raw photos and I don't really need that. Lip patcher, that's really something cool. If you enable lip patcher, guys, then you are able to set some custom settings for shadows, for highlights, you know, white points, dark points. So if you enable tone curve, you are able to set up here different settings that can eventually change the way the pictures are processed. Let's see here, we have also settings that can be applied also in the back camera. Now we have the sharpness, we have the luminosity noise, chromatic noise, contour saturation, a lot, a lot of settings, guys, you can see for yourself. And you can apparently do this also on the telephoto lens and also on the wide lens, right? Okay, that's cool. Going back here, we have the pixel auto-white auto balance in HDR uh, plus enhanced 
So usually the recommendation is to keep this off during the day, uh, put it on at night. HDR enhanced frames, you can put, I always go for high because else if I'm not using HDR plus guys, I always go back and just, just shoot with, um, yeah, with HDR plus only. Maximum screen run, it's not. Disable zoom in problem mode. Okay, it's fine to disable it. Enable astrophotography, let's put it on here. We know that it doesn't work. I always go here for the high settings on the actual max exposure. It doesn't really work all the time. But if you go to ISO exposure time HDR guys here, and you can put 100 time max. With these settings, the astrophotography should work. So actually guys, I went into my bedroom to try to simulate a very dark environment. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close up the door here to just simulate a dark environment as if it's night. And I wanna try the new as photography mode. And let's see how long the exposure is gonna be. So we start now, all right. Oh, I can tell you from what I see guys, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, wow, okay. It's gonna take a while. So I have put the OnePlus 7 Pro on a tripod and I'm trying to shoot this bionic guy here, which actually you cannot even see it on the camera. Maybe you it like this, all right. Now maybe you can see it from that angle. Okay, no, it's absolutely not seeable, but it's there. Right? So my iPhone 6S, which I'm using to create a video, cannot show it. I'm gonna stop the video right now and resume it because I have a feeling this is gonna take at least like four minutes. Now guys, I did several tests uh, on the new astrophotography mode and I can tell you that the exposure even went more than five minutes, but then, then my phone would just be stopping. Right? So the first thing that I did, I just went into my settings and I put here the screen lock. Um, let me just show you guys. So I go here um, to display and I have put sleep after 10 minutes of inactivity because my first test shown, I usually I am staying just at 30 seconds, but after the second minute of exposure, the phone will just stop. Right. And anyway, right now I don't think that I have some nice results. Right, I tried to play a little bit with this, so let me just show you the settings that I still use on that one here. So I have the Astro Photography Mode enabled, the Astro Max Expo Exposure Time is default, but here in the ISO Exposure Time HDR, I have set the back camera to ISO 100 Time Max. And honestly, yes, it does work, right? Because even if the phone stops, pictures are captured. And this was in a very, very dark environment, all right? So I was able to shoot some pictures, guys. They're not the best because, all right, I wanted to simulate dark, you know, and as night, and I can only do that in a bathroom, apparently. But okay, I need to still wait uh, and do some more tests, you know, with this beast in the evening. Right now, I'm pretty much happy with the results that I see. This, had in mind, this has been shot on a very, very dark environment. So we still need to lay our hands into that as photography mode when it's dark. So let's see some further settings, guys. I think this is pretty much the basic things that you need to know. So going back to advanced, so this was really the last thing here. Now the auxiliary camera, guys, you know, this is not gonna work without rules. So if I do it like this and I wanna switch the camera, yeah, okay, you see what happens? So don't think that just because the setting is there, you know, the camera, the camera will work. I just showed this to you because now it will crash all the time. And what I need to do is I need to clean my storage, which will basically re remove all my settings to be able to launch it properly again. All right, guys, so this was the Gcam 1.6 by Unix, a very, very nice and stable build. Let me know when you have the time to test it and install it. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And main, main question, let me know how the new Astro Photography mode works for you when you enable the T-Max 100 settings. So, Valence picks over. Have a nice rest of the day and happy Friday, guys. Bye, 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 bye.